All right, Marnie, we're back with your little angel. And, you know, for people at home, these trainers, Marnie, they won't even use the pager. And if you said, you honestly think you ask people, they would rather prefer the pager. Or Michael might say, oh, whatever it takes. Marnie is not going to say anything other than use the pager. This dog is a very soft temperament. She said, why do you have to be more careful? <laughs> And you can get them where they don't, they're just going to sit there and do nothing. If you said shoe bottom could get her cornered over there, cowing down in the corner, and every time she moved, chase after her, make her say, yes, she wouldn't fight back. You know, they don't have a lot of fight back in them. They do have a servant's heart. Hi, Glenn. I'm glad I was saying something nice. Mike, uh, um, apparently I said something nice online. That's how Glenn found me. That's <laughs> what? As soon as he said he saw something I said online, I immediately went into some big defense of my troll attack, which apparently it wasn't. <laughs> Yikes. But what you have to say to yourself is corrections are going to be less effective in a soft temperament dog because they're just going to kill your motion. If you remember, initially this dog did not move around. It wasn't real confident. And she just kind of stood around looking around at every noise. If this was her first day, she'd be listening to Dave's blower or whatever they're doing over there. She would not. Hi, Kenan. She wouldn't be interested in the handler. So that was my page. She was jumping at me. All I did was change it to up there. There's a certain levity you're getting. I know you're seeing it, Mike. Jamie, I don't know if you're there. I do like your platform. Jamie's trying to duplicate my platform. Ah, oh, there's the going in circles, Mike. Let's get that one going. Wow. I think we need to say that, and I'm glad I thought of it that way, but on some level, the handler, or the platform can act as the de facto handler, because if you said driving one to a platform really fast, it's not going to result in one going to a handler real fast. It's not going to detract from it. Am I wrong, Mike? It's not going to detract from going to a handler real fast. And anyway, you're not going to be able to get that race me to myself thing like you can the race me to the platform. So watch. She was way over there. And yeah, she gave me the shake. She does the shake up a lot. It's that collar on her ears. And you do have to be careful. It looks like I might have the hair buckled in there. So what we want to start doing, and I know you guys probably don't take her out on the leash that much, but... That's how you want to think of it, and I'm going to try to do one of those animation things. But if I take myself, where's my chalk? And I say, this is where, how I'm going to think of controlling the dog. It's going to be this close to me, then it's going to be that close, then it's going to be that far, then it's going to be that far. It's going to be that far, and then there's going to be a no farther. But those are all circles. But then there's going to be a no farther. And that's where I'm going to initially start saying, come back real fast from there. So it's not any different than with General or Rennie. It's, it's the same, the recall. If you, you guys know that if they're not going to come to you, it's, it doesn't matter. You're not going to be able to do anything. So I'm saying to myself, there is a, and if you said, well, how do these circles, and I'm glad you asked that, how do these circles have to do with the platform? It's the same thing. The circles are emanating out from the platform. And if you said, okay, so show me that one. I'm adding the pager. I have your pager right there. So if you said, oh, you did it far away in the beginning, and now you've tightened it up. I had the pager right there. That's what I need, Mike. I need a drone to fly over top of me. But I'll draw the circles out better. And I think you can see what I'm talking about. The circles are emanating out from the platform the opposite way. And so look. So say I'm all the way over here. I'm at this circle. I can still get her back over there. So if you said do the opposite, well, the dog is away.
and tell Michael, I know he probably doesn't have time to watch Ronnie, but it's kind of the, when we trained Rennie, I used to do the go in the place thing, and this is kind of like that, but I do want you guys to use the crate. I'm going to tell you why. She's been perfect in there. I'm going to show you what kind of crate to get. She doesn't make a peep. She doesn't make a peep at all. First thing in the morning, nothing. She's so good. But I do have her in like the little sky kennel thing, and I've made it into a little, you know, cave. You know, she's got her binky or little chew bones and this, that, and the other in there her room. She doesn't get up early. She doesn't. So the dog is all around the corner. So. That's what you're thinking of, though. I'm saying if, I, if I'm doing it right, I can push it back from there. You're always starting at that outer boundary, though. You can't do the way Dog Tris says on the leash. I mean, am I wrong? <laughs> That's not even a methodology. That's fragmented, plagiarized sentences that they've grabbed out of God knows where. <laughs> the Geneva Convention. <laughs> From what it sounds like, am I wrong? Yeah, it's, that's Geneva Convention. So I'm saying to myself, if the dog gets off there, yay. and you said you didn't push it, but yeah, I did. Maybe that's what people need to do, Mike. If you said that wasn't concise, that wasn't concise. <laughs> All right, hang on. That's what you're thinking. The circles are emanating. So, I'm saying to myself, if I can push it on, almost, and you don't have to be, you know, we're, uh, you know, eventuality is saying I can push it from anywhere in those, in that force field, anywhere. All right, watch. So it's, it's spinning, it's spinning it back. Now she already gets her own leash. And Ronnie, I think you guys left your leash here. I've got her container, feed container, though. Oh, yeah, for you guys that don't know, Grace was here and then the hurricane was sitting, so Marnie came and got her. Oh, it was an awful day. Thank God that's fine. But anyway, I forgot to give you the leash and crash cheated. it. I still have a piece of it. I think it was hers. All right, so what we've got, too, is a dog. And you're thinking of the same thing. Well, if I want the dog to fetch, I'm glad I drew these lines. And if you said, how, how small, how much detail do you want? The, the initial line would be there, 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 and all in between there. So for your delivery hand, you're initially doing it. That might help people. So honestly, then you're just saying from there, you know, and if you're saying, well, it's doing pretty good, let me skip ahead a couple lines and go way out here. Oh, well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. No, she's not buying for my attention. Oh no, she's scared, Gracie, what? So I just had her give it to me right there. I think you've got that option, but if you said, well, I didn't want to drive her over to... She didn't know where shoe bottom came from. She just appeared at it, but she's awful, isn't she? Look at her. So anyway, I think that was a good video, don't you, Mike? I think maybe I should use the lines more. 
And it is a circle. It's not a square. It's a concentric circle emanating towards or away from the handler. Am I wrong? You said, why is she running? Because that dog ran. Emanating towards Gracie. Yay. And your objective is to turn it at that circle. You're either turning it towards or turning it away. I am. Uh, don't you love the way Skylar just finds any of the crumbs? Oh, he's having a great day. He's like, oh, Thursdays are great. Look at him. Look at his stomach. He tricks me into feeding him all the time. Then I remember, that was just earlier today. I think it was yesterday, but then I remember. All right, so the dog's right by me. So if you said, well, do it without the pager, my job is to do it with the pager. And if you said, well, you're going to get a faster entrenchment of behaviors. I don't even know if entrenchment is a word, but if it is, that's what you're looking at doing. You're not having a dog that has an intellectual process saying, I'm a good dog and I better be good. <laughs> that doesn't work. You know, I've got a dog that I can either move towards or away from me. Oh, she's a good, good little dog. She doesn't intend any harm to anyone. So, so I'm saying if the handler's on the way out here and the dog is there, if I'm doing it right, I should be able to move it from there to there. If I'm only limited to a dog that only comes in my direction, which probably isn't the worst thing that could happen for people. But if you said, well, what would that be? Well, it would be a dog would be out of balance because you could only make it move one way. If you said, what would that kind of Kind of like NASCAR cars. You're just saying, where I've got those two choices, you know, and theoretically, well, if you knew how to do a remote sit, you'd say, well, I could get it to sit right here. I could get it to sit here. I could get it to sit here. And if you said, where would you start? You get it to sit right there first. <laughs> yeah, obviously, obviously. Oh boy, here we go. Watch it. Oh, here we go. If she can't get it out of there, she'll just pick the whole bucket up. <sighs> anyway, that was our entertainment for the day. She's, so she's doing fabulous, Marnie. I'm working on it, and we're going to get her going on the leash. I'll start getting her going in town and get Michael to build this platform and tell him it needs to be. I think that one's 12 by... Right, maybe it's 24 by 24 by 12, but we might want to make it, if that one's a double, this part here, I think is, would be 48 by 24 by 12, anyway. Alright guys, hang on, I'll be right back. <laughs>